Trump under fire in Nordstrom I Garo. Mr. Trump tweeted that Ico has been treated so unfairly by clothing retailer Nordstrom. A Democratic senator called the post inappropriate and an ex-White House ethics czar dubbed it outrageous. Earlier this month Nordstrom became the fifth retailer to drop the Imka Trump clothing line, citing lack of sales. The move comes amid a boycott of all Trump products, which activists have dubbed hash grab your wallet, in reference to a 2005 comment Mr. Trump made about women's bodies. A spokesman for Pennsylvania Senator Bob Casey said the senator feels it is unethical and inappropriate for the president to lash out at a private company for refusing to enrich his family. Norm Eisen, who served as ethics czar under President Barack Obama, called the move outrageous and advised Nordstrom to sue Mr. Trump under the Californian unfair competition law. This is different, Anthony Zerker, BBC News Washington. In 1950 President Harry Truman penned an angry letter to Washington Post music critic Paul Hume, who had panned a singing performance by the president's daughter, Margaret. Sixty-six years later, another president has come to the defense of his offspring. For Truman, the incident led to widespread ridicule. Donald Trump's Twitter attack on Nordstrom may have graver consequences, however, calling into question the appropriateness of a president using his public megaphone not just to protect a daughter's honor, but to advance the family's business interests as well. Mr. Trump has slammed companies before, but that at least has been in the name of advancing U.S. economic interests. This is different. This is personal. Ethics experts have warned that Mr. Trump's assurances of a firewall between his presidency and his family's financial concerns was insufficient. Now the president has provided a new, key piece of supporting evidence that could very well be cited in lawsuits trying to force Mr. Trump to fully divest from his business empire. The irony is that Mr. Trump's efforts may backfire. Would any retailer want a partnership with Ivanka Trump knowing they risk the ire of the president and his supporters if things go sour? The White House has played down the row. Press spokesman Sean Spicer said that Nordstrom's decision was political, and the president was simply reacting to an attack on his daughter. This is a direct attack on his policies and her name and so there's clearly an attempt for, the president, to stand up for her being maligned because they have a problem with his policies, Mr. Spicer said during the daily press briefing. In announcing their decision six days ago, Nordstrom said the decision was based on the brand's performance, which is what the firm repeated on Wednesday. Sales of the brand have steadily declined to the point where it didn't make good business sense for us to continue with the line for now, the company said in a statement, adding that Ianka Trump was personally informed of the decision in early January. The tweet, which was sent by Mr. Trump's at real Donald Trump account, was then retweeted by the official at POTUS account. Shares in the retailer fell 0.7 percent, before rallying slightly by midday. Earlier this week, First Lady Melania Trump came under fire after she refiled a lawsuit against the Daily Mail over false allegations that she once worked as an escort. Her lawyers accused the news website of trying to deny her a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity to profit from her position as one of the most photographed women in the world. Critics accused the First Lady of improperly seeking to profit financially from her White House position. Mrs. Trump is seeking damages of $150 million, £120 million. Million pounds.